un uomo ha una resistenza limitata. Prima o poi finisce con l'infrangere i giuramenti che si è fatto tatuare e con il fare cose che credeva inconcepibili. Perché la fedeltà eterna non appartiene agli uomini, ma il tradimento sì. Giornalismo, master of a thriller, 40 million copy of books sold in the world. Harry Hall is one of the most beloved characters. A film, you did a lot of jobs in your life, the football player, the rock star, and now you are a celebrity of books. What an amazing career! Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's been good to me. <laughs> But uh, as you mentioned, it's uh, becoming, since I was a football player, it's, it's always the dream to, to remain a football player. So uh, still my friends to say that, oh, we're sorry about, I got injured at the age of 19, and I say, oh, sorry, you got injured, so you just, you had to become a writer, you, you had to find something else. What about your new book, Macbeth? Why have you decided to uh, deal with such an important material like uh, the Shakespearean one? <laughs> Was it hard for you? <laughs> It's uh, really... I saw Roman Polanski's Macbeth when I was uh, when I was really young, and so I was always intrigued by the Macbeth character. So I said, if I can have Macbeth, I'll uh, I'll do it. It was the difficult thing was, was how to how to do it. But as soon as I had made the first big decisions, for example, that I would set it in the 1970s and the backdrop, what kind of uh, town this should be and uh, that the struggle was of course not for the uh, throne of Scotland but it was um, uh, about uh, being chief of police in this corrupted uh, uh, poor and uh, polluted city run by uh, drug cartels then it was quite easy. And uh, the Macbeth is the tragedy of ambition. Do you think that ambition is still uh, um, a scene of society and what are the other, uh, the other evils of society nowadays? Do you think that ambition is one of the most important or we have other ones like narcissism, for example? <laughs> well, I think um, in, the, in Macbeth you maybe have a little of both. What we're seeing now is, of course, that uh, uh, the whole system of uh, democracy is being challenged. That uh, people uh, are looking forward to, to have um, strong persons as their leaders and, and have a leader that they can follow uh, instead of leaders following their people. So um, I think uh, right now it uh, looks like we are... Democracy has been on the progress since World War II. Um, seen from the outside right now it seems like it's two steps back hopefully we'll go on forward again but right now i'm um, it doesn't look like that good what's your explanation uh, i don't know fear uh... um hopefully it's um i mean we we're looking at the time span of 10 years if you, if you look at for example um uh, since i deal with people getting killed if you look at people getting violently killed either it's by in, in wars or in, uh, in uh, uh, crime cases, the numbers are dropping and, and, and have been dropping for, uh, for many years. Um, so that is the trend. Right now there's a bit of a backlash. It's, uh, the, 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 but, but still, if you, if you, if you took, take a longer view on it, 100 years, um, civilization is, uh, is making progress. So hopefully um, at um, in 10 years time, 20 years time, we will look at back at this period and say that, okay, so uh, for, for a little while there, it wasn't looking too good, but then we, we uh, came back to reason and we uh, started on the path toward a better society for, for everybody. So you have a lot of hope. Uh, I do, I do, you have to have hope. <laughs> What's the role of novels in, in nowadays, um, uh, in such a period? Novels can't give answers. I mean, um, uh, sometimes, uh, like you ask me now, what's your view on the world? Uh, that has been the mandate of, of writers of fiction for, for, for decades, that we are sort of given, uh, our view is given some importance uh, nowadays. Our readers are just as well educated and informed as the writers. So it's not like when Charles Dickens wrote that he would be a man to, to, to look to when you were to, to describe society and criticize society. Uh, but I do think that still writers of fiction, we can ask, we can't give answers, but we can ask interesting 
questions and hopefully the right questions uh, for, uh, for our readers to, uh, to think about and uh, for uh, scientists, researchers, specialists and politicians also to ponder about. Thank you so much. Okay. Grazie mille. Thank you. Pop, shake, beat.